devil whenever I wake up and get it, you know I walk straight through the fire Mama told me if I wanna do better, then I gotta fill my heart up with desire Look at my father whenever I'm getting that money, cause he's the one that I admire Started the 303 when I was younger, we came from the mud and we built an empire This came at the right time We have been waiting for this, man I said this the other day I was like, yo, he just needs to get on Genius And break down the full explanation of the song. Now, I watched interviews where he was saying, yeah, I did it in 15 minutes. Yeah, the producer, my boy. Yeah, we got the energy. Now we're going to get bar for bar. This is about to go crazy, boy. This is exciting, man. So on my channel, I did the reaction to Big Dogs, right? It went crazy. But I listened to all his other songs. Those are crazy too, dog. I was like, who is this? Feel me? So now he done, the, the, the song went viral, but he drew me in with the other stuff too? Yeah, let's get this breakdown, man. Let's go. It's okay. Oh, shit. All right, let's start from the beginning. There you go. My name is Honey Man. I've seen people butcher oh, butch name online. Name? Let me see how he says it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get it right. The name is Hanu Mankind. I've Hanu seen Mankind. people butchering okay. the name online, I said and that's that. okay. It definitely comes off as humankind. Off yeah, of humankind. The it's an amalgamation. It's a bringing together of two worlds. Hanuman is an important Hanuman. figure within my culture. And I did the research of what it means, okay? So that I know. I'm tapped in with you. I did the research. Within my society, mankind is the rest of the world. So we just, okay. you know. Out the words together. Oh, verified. Ah! Yes, sir. We gotta get another clap. Big Dogs was fun. It came from a very honest place. My boy Thelmy, shout out to my boy Thelmy, who was the producer behind this, made okay. me a beat. The energy was amazing. The power that it brought within me and out of him was yeah. just a beautiful thing to feel. The music video was was just a coming together of people that care and wanted to push themselves. We uh -huh. just sat and came up with the idea of, you know, there's skirt and a whip. You can do the traditional skirt a whip, have some bad bitches yeah, on the side, some throw girls, some money yeah. around. We were just like, hey man, like if you skirt and a whip, why not do it inside the well of death? <laughs> that shit is crazy. So I appreciate the comment section and the Big Dogs a song for explaining to me what the well of death mean. That shit is, is tough. Now, I, I, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Wait a minute, get it, Wait, how you live, live it. it. Ten toes in, when we, we standing, standing on, on business. business, I'm up. Big step, Big step up. up. Underground methods, top notch hoes, get the most, not the yeah, lesser. Yeah, that's For UGK, those who don't know, man. UGK was facts, a facts. very, very prominent an integral part of Houston music uh -huh. and just culture in general. Pimp C and Bum B, what they did for the city of Houston and what they Facts, did just generally music, in terms of stylistics yeah. and aesthetics Changing shit up. cannot be recreated. Smart dude, he know his shit, smart dude. It is second to none. It's Pimp C's line, top notch, yeah, host, host, the most not yeah. lesser, right? Pimp C was just ahead of his time, man. He believed nice. in bringing the community together. He believed in putting aside all your petty beef, focus on yeah. getting your money up, focus on. So that was a culture bar. That's all it was. That Providing was, for you. And he's showing love too at the same time. Yourself and your community and your family. Rest in peace to Pimp C. I think what 100%. he did and what he left behind is yeah. monumental. December 4th, 2007 will forever be a dark day in history. Straight yep. terror, product of your era. Terrors. Pushing culture, baby, got that product you can yeah. measure. Yeah. Come from a country that unfortunately has a lot of stereotypes and typecasts that have been placed within our yeah. communities. That's I don't like, believe yeah. that these are what define us. Right. There's so much uh, more to where I'm from. There's spit, so much of tradition. Knowledge. There's so much of style. There's so much of beauty from where I'm from. That's how you push culture, though. You show them what the truth is. You show them what is reality. There's a side yeah. of this world that you have never seen and never experienced. And that is something that I would love to show you. Trendsetter, the one who get a weather. Yeah. Swerving while I'm bumping Project Petta. Project Pat is yeah, a pipe. Project the style and the delivery that this man yeah. has brought to the world. You can hear it in so much of music yeah, that you hear Yeah, it's now. a lot. A lot of people don't know that, man. A lot of stuff is inspired 
by Project Pat, bro. What he and 3-6 Mafia did in terms of their sound and stylistics, in, in yeah. terms of so many things. There was a time period where they're on top of the world and I was there for it. Big shout yeah. out to Project Pat for changing the world like this, man. For bringing this to music. Rolling through hey. the city with the big dogs. Fuck the laws, lawyer with me, we ain't got a car. Mm. Zelly on silent, but the product end up hella loud. Uh. That's how you make the money pie for everyone involved. So rolling through the city with the big dogs is basically, I'm proud yeah. to be able to say that I did this with my boys from the ground up. We will yeah, continue yeah, doing it yeah. with my boys. These are my big dogs. This is the circle that you choose to keep. That's kind of what big dog symbolizes, right? I'm rolling through the city uh -huh. with the big dogs. Fuck the laws. We made our own rules. Yeah, we made our we own did our you thing, know, scenarios. Bro. And we created our own future. And if you Thanks. don't deserve a cut, then we're going to cut them off. Mm -hmm. My barber got me looking proper every single time. Fresh fed, getting faded on that top grade. Mm -hmm. You ain't walking out alive smoking what we yawn. The long hair is actually a very new thing. Before oh, this, just I had a very, very clean fade that I carried with pride. And okay, my I boy growing it barber. out. Shout out to my boy, Ashikbai. If Make people are around you that don't deserve a cut, you got to cut them off. Just like my barber, <laughs> yeah, make sure thanks. that I stay clean. Make sure that you cut out things that you That's don't need bar. in your life, people or energies Double that you don't need right in your life bar. because these things will hamper your progress. And you know I got it part for the ones who gone. All right, peace in your memory, we carry on. Mm -hmm. When I die, they will not bury me, not what I want. Yeah. Burn my body, pour my ashes in the river, y'all. That's how we knowing that the flow about to carry on. Throughout my journey and throughout a lot of Wanna my get friends, cremated? we have lost a lot of good people along yeah. the way. A lot of what we do and how we do it is keeping their memories in mind. When 100%. you move, you must remember that maintaining the integrity, not just for yourself, but the people that were there and were rooting for you yeah, is for very you. important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's in your friends. memories that we carry on. When I die, they will not bury me, not what I want. Within my country and within my community, Culture. cremation is a very consistent and real thing that we do, right? Yeah, After yeah, passing, sure. we burn the bodies in a funeral pyre. After the body is burnt, we pour the remnants, the ashes, into mm. the a holy river, which basically symbolizes the moving on from this yeah. life to the next, right? The body is a vessel, but the soul will continue to move. He needs to write a book. He got me tapped in. <laughs> oh, he got me tapped in. Uh, reincarnation is a very real tradition and oh, belief yeah, that we 100%. have over here. A lot After of this are... life, you move on to the next one. And I think that this process of cremation is to symbolize that. The remnants are placed into the river where it will flow on and continue into the cycle oh, of life. See, I didn't think about that. That's why they always pour the ashes in the river. To flow. Uh, I understand the process that I get it, but I didn't really tie it into like, Oh, yeah, because the river keeps flowing. It's a circle of life, and it, which it is. Mortality is a fallacy. I prove them wrong. The Southern family going to carry me to way beyond anything you've ever known, anything you've done. It is a brief glimpse of immortality. If you're yeah. true to your craft or your beliefs and what you pursue in mm -hmm. this life, even when you are gone, a part of you will remain. 100%. Of course. They ask me how you be like this. How you get like this. this. Why you worry about it, hope? Get up on my dick. Oof. Get up out the way. What you think this is? Yeah. We ain't worry about it, hope. Watch me skirt the whip. Yeah. People are way too focused on how other people are doing their things. How people yeah. are mind your money, business, how bro. people are pursuing people their endeavors. Mind. How people always, are just going bro. about their business. Mind I feel like people business. need to relax on that and take care of your own thing. Get your money up. Provide for your family. Focus yeah. on what's important. Get up on hey, my your dick. Way. <laughs> Get up on my dick. Swerve. <laughs> He's talking facts, though. <laughs> Moving to the money like it's urgent. Hands on God, so I'm in it like a surgeon. Ooh. The skin color like the bourbon. Man. A worldwide sign that we face close curtains. Whether it's here where I live or whether it's across Shit. the world, a lot of people Everywhere. do their, the way that they are perceived through their skin tone or their background, automatically assumptions are made, doors are closed, opportunities have been ended. I have experienced it. Many of my people have experienced it. Many of your people have experienced mm -hmm. it. However, nice. that doesn't stop us from getting what we're supposed to be getting. I'm proud of my heritage. I'm proud of my people. I'm proud of where yeah. I'm from, where our skin color is like the bourbon, right? Yeah. Even within our community, there's layers to this. People are yeah, subjugated to a it's certain way of life and certain treatment by you know, society at large that is unfair or that has negative implications on how we can move forward as a society. I hear yo, nothing's ever certain. Only thing that's promises that promises are broken. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So we find them ways to cope. Then mm-hmm. only thing I'm breaking is her back with the motions. Yeah. This is a worldwide uh, phenomenon. There are so many consistent instances of the people being promised this and that, the people being yeah. assured that these things are going to happen by people that are in positions of power, people that should be helping. But unfortunately, a lot of these promises are broken and right. the general well, population that's life. Yeah, has to suffer. Fair, for real. So because of that, you know, me and everybody else here, uh-huh. we're finding ways to cope, man. And sometimes uh-huh. to ease the pain within my heart, yeah. I need to break a back or two. Baby, <laughs> go bring out the goodie. Yo, just, yo, I tell people all the time, you got a lot of shit going on, you stress, have some sex. Release it. You feel a whole lot better. Trust me, I'm the advocate, man. Trust me. He snuck it in inside the hoodie. Now we turning up to Boogie. Hey, Boogie. In school, I used to fight the bullies. Now mm, I'm fighting with the law. I guess some things don't leave you fully. These things don't change. It's a cycle. There are figures and authority figures that are constantly suppressing your movement. Yeah, for so real. we fight that, man. It doesn't change. They try and push me, then they try and mm-hmm. pull me. Bet I will not budge. If you doubt it, then just call my bookie. Thanks. My bookie taking bets. Profit size a profit when you know it's coming next. Like mm. with the forces that are against you, they're gonna try and budge you. They're gonna try and push yeah. you left to right. But it is up to you to maintain the stability, maintain focus yeah, on what, what you, is what you important do. to you, yeah. right? And I bet you that they won't, they won't change me. It is my duty to stay Max, to what I'm who supposed I to am, do. And if I'm you doing. doubt that, you can call my bookie. You know, I can put you in touch with a good guy or two. And my yeah. bookie's taking bets because profit size a profit when you know what's coming next. Yeah, this is yeah, just yeah. you betting on yourself, man. Oh, Make sure that if you believe in what it is that you do. Educational boss. Rest assured, good things will come to you. But you must believe. Mm. Man. The well of death. Man. Man. What a breakdown. And he's still talking. Listen to him. Actually, I don't think it's actually an Indian event. Historically, it's been all around the world. But it is something that you you see all across India because it is a yeah. very common carnival or circus act. They um, yeah, set up told in, me a, about in an that. area for a month or two. You can see that because the structures are usually fucking very rickety. It's just to be able to make it quickly and then break it apart quickly and take it oh. out. So when it comes to being in the car and the well of death, and actually performing this, 10 out of 10 in terms of an experience. But if I had to get inside the car again, I would need some time to prepare myself and get ready <laughs> because it's not a joke. <laughs> My boy talking, let's go. Yo, he's a legend, man. Um, shout out to HMK, man. Um, his success is going crazy right now, man. I'm telling you, it's just not about the virus song, man. He got a lot of good music. Tap in with him. I'm telling you. Yeah. Oh, no. Got too many people watching me. Bye. <laughs>